Hey guys, if you want to know how to make some beautiful DIY artisan candles with the botanical element, guys, stay tuned. We're going to get started. You are going to love these floral pressed candles. So guys, you can pick up some pressed flowers from any craft store. I actually ordered mine online on Amazon, so I can definitely leave the link in the description bar below because for some reason they were sold out everywhere. I guess everyone is using them for their resin projects and doing all of those resin things for the spring and Easter. And they also come with this tweezer for convenience, so guys, they'll have everything that you need. And I'm just going to pull out some of the colors this one I got in particular has several different colors some of them come with the variety with a little bit of greenery in there also like this one and then other ones come with just one color like maybe you're into purples and lilacs or blues and such this one I like it's a variety pack I'm just going to pull out some that I'll be using on my candles if you don't have regular white taper candles or candles in the house you could pick some up from the Dollar Tree two for a um, dollar twenty-five you're also going to need some tea lights and last but not least a little brush that is very thin and very soft these candles are Dollar Tree candles guys but I also have other candles because I will be giving these out as gifts and we're going to go ahead and get started now you can pick out any piece you want this is so simple and easy but you do have to wait for your tea candle for the wax on the tea candle to melt down so just give it about three minutes please make sure that you don't allow children to do this this is for an adult craft and you're just going to dip your little paintbrush into the wax that's melted make sure it's just getting on the tip you don't want the brush to get too saturated with wax and then you're just going to go ahead and dab a little on please don't use a lot if you use a lot your brush will get a lot of wax on it don't worry it will melt once you stick it back in to the wax but you really want to use as little as possible you don't want it to be too much because it will get blotchy and you want it to have a really pretty aesthetic to it not too thick and heavy this is all you need and I'm giving you a close-up so that way you have an idea and what I like to do is take my finger while it's still warm in the warmth of my hand and just gently rub it and that smooths it out and gives it a really pretty finished look it doesn't look too hazy and cloudy and as you can see my brush is still clean I'm going in with the very tip of it into my little candle remember to use something that small make sure that you're protecting your surface and you can easily hold it in place and I'm sort of going under it slightly and then pressing down once your wax starts to get a little bit opaque you know it's cooling down it's time to dip it back in to your melted wax once again I like to use tea candles I've seen people do these with large candles do not allow children to do this by themselves. I know I do a lot of crafting for families. This one, you definitely need the adults or some older children with it. And when you do burn these candles, if you do, most people just use them for how pretty they are. Make sure that you're, you're burning them and that you're watching them. You're not just leaving them because of the botanicals could sometimes flare when you're burning them. But as you can see, when I'm placing it down just now, you saw me gently rubbing my finger across it. I'm going to show you another one, just that way you can get the technique down. As you can see, it's very, very little wax, and then I'm smoothing it out right away. Warming up my tip of my brush, adding a little bit to under it, and then right, right away, just going over it gently. And I'm just repeating that process and smoothing it out with my finger. And this is how you get the neatest, most beautiful. It looks like you bought it from the store if you do it this way. If you just keep dipping it and adding more to it, it will start to get really cloudy and hazy. And you really want it to look very clear and not so opaque. And that's all there is to this guys. I'm going to show you another flower just to show you when you have something that's a little thinner than what we've been using. As you can see I've done a lot. But to make this video not be too long I was basically doing a little bit off camera. 
I just wanted to do some of the thicker ones for you. The thinner little flowers and petals are so easy to do, guys. But it looks absolutely beautiful, and it's surprisingly easy to actually make these, and they look so amazing and absolutely stunning when you're done. So this is a larger flower. I wanted to show you what it would look like if it's something a little bit thicker. Once again, same technique. I'm making sure that the tip of my brush is warm with the wax, it's melted, and I'm just going in and applying it to the edges and then just rubbing it and smoothing it out and giving it that really finished pretty look where it's not too hazy and guys, that's all there is to this. Now if you start getting a little bit that's a little bit hazy or cloudy, I'm using my warmth of my fingers to just smooth it out and wipe it away as you just saw. So guys, it's not complicated, but you do want to maybe practice before you start doing it as like a present on a very expensive candle try to get some from the Dollar Tree and that way you'll feel a little bit more comfortable but it is not hard to do how pretty is that and I'm just going to repeat this over and over again with different colors I did a few of these as um, just a trial and then I did some for a present. These will be so nice to maybe wrap in twine and put it in a candle box and guys it would just be such a beautiful present. So I absolutely love the way they turned out. I think these with that look it's just so very unique and it will brighten up your spring decor or any other season that you would like to use these. I think they look stunning guys. And I want to give you a close-up of how beautiful it really is. Just bringing the camera in so you can get all of, of those vibrant colors on the candle. And I think they turned out amazing. So guys, I hope you like the way they look. If you did, don't forget to give this video a, a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out so much. And also, if you're going to be subscribing, please hit the bell twice so you'll know when I upload another one of these videos. They're so much fun and I love doing DIYs. So guys, I hope you like this one. And I want to thank you all for watching.